We are away on the e-bikes and in the EV. Welcome to a tour of my hometown of Loughborough. Well, here we are, which is Queen's Park in Loughborough. Basic map of the place. Welcome to Queen's Park. No, it's just, this is a stone maze. The idea is you follow the maze to the swan and that's what that's all about. I'm gonna walk through the park here now and, and sorry about the camera up and down. Me uh, gimbal batteries have just packed up, which is great. Queen's Park Bowls Club, superbly kept grass. But as you can see, it's uh, excellent grass for outdoor English bowls. We were just saying we haven't been for years, um, somewhere we never bother coming, even the summer, spring, whatever. Things change through the seasons in this park, but just a place we never spend any time, which is a, a bit sad really, but hey ho. This is smack in the middle of Loughborough Town, by the way. Not to the side or anything, it's very easy to park in Loughborough most times during the day. Plenty of toilets to use, public toilets. It was put up for Queen Victoria's Jubilee. Um, I'll put the dates in blue across the top there, I won't rant about it. That then takes you across to the monument there, which is being basically hidden by those trees. I'm trying to show you the rest of the park. It's not a massive place, but it's big enough to come down to for a nice afternoon with the kids or whatever, or grab a coffee in the cafe. Few bits of wildlife, a few squirrels across there doing the thing. A few things for the kids to play on, and of course the obligatory kids playground, which is relatively new, I believe. Definitely wasn't there when I was a kid. We had nothing like that. All we had was this green park and green grass. Play football on. Take a walk over the bridge. Again, every time I walk, the camera's going up and down. I apologise for that. Oh dear. This now in front of me where Deborah's walking is the main walkway to that monument. And we'll go across and have a look at it and uh, tell you what it's all about. I'll read that out for you. It says, this tower was erected in grateful memory of the men of Loughborough who gave their lives for freedom in the Great War 1914 to 1918. All the names of the guys who died in the First World War. Always in memoriam for them. One thing I never had to go through in my life. Hopefully, my kids won't either. But there you go. These are all plaques on the side of the building. There are some there. They even say R.C. Simpson, Falklands, and J.T. Attenborough, Cyprus. And then there's Dean Nix, Korea. Korea again, H. Bailey. And then a lot more names again. In memoriam. And again up this side, just step back a bit. All the way to the very top. This has been here many years. I always remember it when I was a kid. 
Again, if you're in the Loughborough area and you want an afternoon of peace and tranquility during the weekday, weekends is always busy here. And today is not the greatest day. It's not very nice weather-wise. So not splendid at all. It would have been a, a better looking thing in the, in the sun. And that is Loughborough's War Memorial. We used to call it the Carillion when we were kids, but it's not spelled like that, it's Carillon. I think Carillon Court in Loughborough, but it is what we call the Carillion. Um, why that was mistook when we were kids, I have no idea. Uh, I believe that you can go in there. It is open to the public, uh, non-COVID times. I've been inside once, I think, when I was a, a child. But yeah, you can go inside and there's all bits and bobs inside. It's well worth going in if you've got the time. But that is Carillion <laughs> Tower, as I call it. As you walk to the centre of the park, there is a bandstand, which again, I've seen bands play here, but um, nothing on today. But that's your bandstand. And if I spin back now, I can show you more of the tower of the Carillon Tower Memorial in all its splendour. Quite like this, this is well done. Quite into me birds, so that's to me is really good. Not seen that before. Obviously in the shape of a book. Folding out. Bandstand again. And then if you go around this way, you'll find that there will be the Averys, which I can remember as a kid. And there are all the birds you can find in here. It's struggling through these wires, the focus of the camera. And there's Queen's Park Cafe, which we are now going to partake in a nice latte. This is the cafe in the Queen's Park. Um, entrance there. And then just off the cafe, you've got the museum, which is here, which I believe is free. Just for the record, you can't get into the museum this side. You have to go in through the other way. We won't be going into the museum today. It is just attached to the park. So if you ever come into the park, by all means, go have a quick look. That's the front of the uh, Charmwood Museum. What about Loughborough and surrounding area? If you ever want to go in, go in that way and come out the cafe side. If you're wondering why there's a big bell here, it was because of Loughborough having a bell foundry, a quite famous one. Supplied bells for all over the world. This is what it's all about, made in Loughborough. Great Paul, Britain's biggest bell. 
another one of the uh, book chairs Ladybird books, that emblem there. Again, worldwide famous, all done in Loughborough at one time. I know folk who used to work for Ladybird books. This is obviously what it's all about. But again, they're well done, I like these. So that is Queen's Park. We'll now get on to the next part of the Loughborough thing we're doing and putting together. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this bit about Queen's Park. Like I say, worth coming into for a, a short afternoon with the kids or a kick about or even to see things like the bell and the park and the, the bits and bobs in it and the birds. Happy days. Well, I will say good morning as it is quite early. It's now around 20 past seven in the morning. Belt on people. Back in the EV, in the uh, BMW i3. Taylor's Bell Foundry in Loughborough supplied the bells for the Queen's Park Carillion thing that we did. Um, and also a lot of bells worldwide. I'm just gonna park up here now and readjust this camera so it's facing forward for you as we drive through sunny which is sunny Loughborough today, which is cool. This I'm just going by now, actually. We'll mention these while I'm here. There's two massive schools. To my right, there is Delisle School, as I used to know it, Burley Community College, and Garandon High School. That's the old fashioned me. They're now all called Charnwood College. Garandon's not used anymore. I don't know if they're going to be knocking it down or whatever. It's part of Charnwood College now, I believe. And Delilah on my right hand side is mainly a Catholic uh, school. Uh, well, here we are outside uh, three schools. These are not school children, by the way. Morning girls. Outside three schools, um, Delilah School is over there. And to this side of me is Burley Community College, now known as Charnwood College. It gets really busy up and down this road, full of buses and cars and mummies and daddies dropping off children instead of letting their children walk to school. Although saying that I will support the, the fact that um, there is an actual distance to come to these schools because these are major schools they're not very close proximity junior schools etc they are quite big schools so people do come distances for them so this is why it's, uh, there's always a lot of buses and everything else here uh, each morning um, this week I believe that the kids are off on a half term basis or whatever it is a holiday so this is why I've come and do, do this now take a walk up this way and go and film the board of Charnwood College. There now is the board, what it's called now, Charnwood College Board Broadening Horizons. That's the old Garrendon School behind that board, which I went to as a kid. I did go Garrendon. And then you've got Burley Community College, we used to call it, down the very bottom end. It goes quite a distance down this road, actually. Uh, down here and then the main entrance is on the right and like I say that there you can see that over the fence is Delisle People travel from all over and outside of Loughborough to come to these these two schools the Charnwood College and Delisle the Road trip through uh, Loughborough Town would be good as well, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna do that now keep the camera rolling just to show you the main a6 through Loughborough Town just before it gets too busy down uh, this dual carriageway now this is basically just to show you where our fire station is. This is the Alamos roundabout now we're coming down to, and there is the fire station and ambulance station of Loughborough. Happy days, do a good job, well done lads. So hitting the roundabout now, I'm gonna go round this way and go back up on myself. And then we'll head up 
back into Loughborough Town. And okay, we are down now near the Loughborough University Island, or Ashby Road Island as some people call it. So we're going to go straight ahead here. I'm going to do this purely because the, the university will be mentioned in my um, video here. That's Loughborough University on the right hand side. So yeah, we'll go straight on. This will take us down to a place called Shellthorpe, which I'm not going to do anything on the, on the video about, apart from tell you that it used to be called Smelly Shelly. And that's because <laughs> there was a bad smell that used to come from Shellthorpe. Sorry people who live up there now, but it, there was many, many years ago. Anyway, moving off from that, <laughs> smelly Shelly. We're gonna hook a left now, which will take us into town. And if you just saw that brown sign there on the left, that said Great Central Railway. That's another thing I will mention on this video before I wrap it up and put it on the channel. Loughborough Town here is being developed and it's gonna be more of a pedestrianized town. So yeah, expect a lot of roadworks. That on the left hand side, that's the COVID rapid test centre just gone by. Uh, and this is your Emmanuel Church in Loughborough on your left. Student accommodation on your left. Trinity Methodist Church centre on my right. And just, whoa, speed up a bit there. I'm gonna go straight down into Loughborough Town. Here we go. This is where the roadworks are being done. Business is open as usual. Um, he's just about ready to open up and start work. So I'll take my time through uh, this bit. Odeon Cinema on my right hand side. Very, very iconic building. Um, Art Deco, as it was called. I can't see that ever being knocked down. It might become flats or something. But And there, in front of you there, is the town marketplace. All those stores there are put up by Charleborough Council uh, for the market, which happens Thursdays and Saturdays. But yeah, that's Loughborough Marketplace. Goes all the way down to the bottom. Very, very busy. So another thing, if you're in uh, outside of Loughborough, you want to come in, there is a market Thursdays and Saturdays. Heading this way now, because I can't go through the marketplace, it's uh, pedestrianized, is our library on the right-hand side. And if you notice, if you can, the signage there was on my first bit of this video, and there's Queen's Park on my left. So this is the library here. I'll pull in on this and show you the building because again it's a bit of an iconic building in Loughborough. That there is the original Loughborough library building and at the top you can see that, thank you white van man, 1905 AD. Uh, again and now what they did they just extended it with a modern building to the right of it and that's been there, wow I can remember that there, it's probably 30 year old if not more but yeah it was a very busy library back in the day and that's exactly opposite the Queen's Park, which have come through my screen here. Um, he's feeding the pigeons like you shouldn't do. Uh, and that's the entrance to Queen's Park. There's two entrances, one there and one back down that way, which we went through when I filmed the Queen's Park scenario. So yeah, that's Loughborough Library for you. Again, the silence of an EV. Excellent when you're videoing and uh, doing uh, any film work. No engine noise, just that tiny tire rumble. <laughs> I'm going to turn right here. Uh, in front of me now is, an, I wouldn't say new Sainsbury's, but a newish Sainsbury's. Been there, I'm going to guess around 15 years. I might be, I might be out on that, but my life seems to be flying by me at the, the pace that I don't want. But hey ho. Um, Schofield Centre. This belongs to, uh, what well, did used to belong to Loughborough University. Don't know if it still does. And these are again student accommodation flats on my right hand side. Loughborough Academy of Dance Studio 9 on my left. Um, used to be a carpet shop. Um, this is the Tap and Clapper, a public house. And, and then this brings you down onto the main A6 in Loughborough. Very quiet this morning. Used to be a nightclub there on the left hand side. There still is a nightclub there, but there used to be years ago. This is all one way now, which is good. Problem is I cannot drive down here on my left because it's uh, again it's pedestrianized and there's cameras so I won't bother and it's one way but down there is your McDonald's on your left hand side this is what they call Tyler's department store in front of me now and this is your car park on the left called again I'm back to that Corillan, Corillan 
Carillion, whatever you want to say, Carry Long Court, look, shopping centre. That's the car park on the left hand side. From 50p for your first hour. So it ain't that bad enough for the park. So up here now, I'm going to turn left again and I'm going to take you away from the town centre and show you where the new swimming baths is, should I say. The old swimming baths used to be uh, the museum, Queen's Park, which I did mention earlier in this video. Here to my right hand side now is the swimming baths and leisure centre. And to my left is the Queen's Park. So you've probably got some bearing now, the square I've just done around Loughborough Town. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hook a left yet again at these lights. Instead of going straight on, I'll bear slightly to the right. It will take us down a different part of Loughborough. Blacksmith's Arms to my right hand side. I will mention the public at the um, pubs because they, they are known to people. Autosport in front here. Dean Henson, I believe, owns that. Might be wrong. Dean, if you want to drop a comment or have any of your family see this. I know he did at one time. I went to school with Dean. You probably wouldn't even recognise me now. Um, right hand side, major car Both park yet again. Further. Beehive car park. There is actually a public charger in there pay for light but yeah there is a charge a charge point in there an EV charge point left hand side Woodgate Chambers um, Glebe House I think it's uh, starting to be called uh, that was the old courts but well, we've got brand new courts now and uh, I'll show you them as we go down um, here through another part this is the, the, the Firkin Phantom it used to be called at one time it's now just the Phantom these are brand new on my left hand side brand new very executive Again, student accommodation, sorry to say. It seems that they do take over the town. You ask any born and bred Loughborough person and the Loughborough University has, has had a lot of influence over this town. Good or bad, good and bad. You know, I can point out some very bad parts of it, but then people will say, oh, it's brought employment to the town. Well, I didn't want Loughborough to grow as big as it is. I was quite happy with it being small, but anyhow. Here now is, again, all oh, looks, study in more accommodation for students on my left but onto the right there another art deco building the beacon bingo which is just closed because of covid can't see it ever reopening as a bingo hall well again that's another big art deco building wheat sheaf on my right actually i'll turn left here and it'll take us down except for loading between four and ten yeah okay Alrighty, this comes to a dead end down here. This is where if you ever want a taxi, you come and pick a taxi up. Little cafe there on the left hand side, just opening up. Um, the mother-in-law used to go in there a lot, but she don't get out of the house anymore. Here's where the taxis can be caught. There's two taxis down here already. Plenty of taxis in Loughborough. Plenty, but it's about time they all went electric. Look, these are old diesels, look. Come on, Charleborough Council, get these people to move on to electric. Anyway, moving on. Will to your left, store called Bonkers. Been there many years. And like I say, this is where your next is and JD Sports and everything else. I just thought I'd bring you down here. This block of flats on the left here uh, is where my boy lived for a while. And it's just going through sale now, actually. So he'll be glad to uh, see the back of that move and get on to a bigger house. So if you notice in front of me there is the Lady Bird Collective uh, art, bit of art, and we can do it NHS, which is very good. Lady Bird books I did mention earlier on in this video. Up here's the big Tesco. This is all part of the Rushes shopping centre. It looks massive, but it's not. And a lot of the stores have closed in there. Hey ho. Looking to right, there's Lima School to your left. On our way down to the Bell Foundry. Here now, I'm gonna do a right turn. And again, Amber just gone. This takes you way up here. Again, these terraced houses are the old style, uh, the old side of Loughborough on Meadow Lane. Brings you up to a one-way system, and then we'll turn left, and then Doggy and Gabbana, great name for a shop. Uh, post office here on my left-hand side, or collective for the post office, 
real pain if you want to pass where there's nowhere to bloody park. Um, and then we'll hook a right here. These flats in front of me here are all brand new. A little mini mart at the corner there, look. This is the Connerys. And this is Nottingham Road. If you turn left now, it takes you down to the train station. So I'm gonna follow this now and go back up and get to John Taylor's Bell Foundry. I've done you a little mini tour uh, of Loughborough. Hopefully um, it's shown up most of what I wanted to show you. Look a left here now. Craddock Street on my left, that used to be <laughs> Benefit Centre down there. We used to go and sign on if you had no work. Jeez. This auto glim place here to my left used to be a massive car dealership, Farmer and Carlisle, Toyota dealership, who have now moved on to the uh, Belton Road in Loughborough. Down Moore Lane, which I'm doing now. And this will take me down to John Taylor's. Terraced houses have gone up in value a lot, and there is a lot of terraced houses in, in Loughborough. Um, so I'm going to hook a right now. What's this dude doing? And I've now got to go down here as well, so it's going to be tight. Again, you know, I'm glad I'm in a small car. Go on then, me old lad. This is what it's, and this is what? Eight o'clock in the morning, one after the other. He's gonna come down here, look, pull out straight on me. Happy days. Give me a funny look, but he did wrong. And another one, look, and you're gonna have to wait. So, John Taylor Bell Foundry, according to this, <laughs> this is when the mats bought me, look. <laughs> Is there? Well, that's a school. Good old maps. I think he got it wrong. So, let me just get out of here. Here we are at the sign for the Bell Foundry Museum. That is to our left. So, I'm going to left down Free Old Street, and it should take us to it. Museum entrance is here. Can't get in tonight, we left it very late. Might be able to see something through the bells. Look here, there's the window. And there, I don't know if you can see something, probably just a reflection. It's inside the bell foundry, but again, it is a museum, it is open. As it says there. And this is all to do with heritage of Loughborough. We'll walk up a tiny bit more and see if we can see anything in here. Again, probably a little dark to see in there, but I've tried. And then we have museum entrance and factory gates. No admittance, inquire at the office at Free Old Street. The Union Jack flying. Not very often you see the Union Jack flying in this country anymore. We've lost this uh, patriotic endeavour that we used to have. So there you go, that's Taylor's Bell Foundry, surrounded by houses on Frio Street in Loughborough. If you ever want to come down and have a look. Well, that wraps up the Bell Foundry and everything with it. I'm going to head home now. I've had to do this video in two parts because uh, of how big this Loughborough composition video is of mine. Uh, this is part one obviously you've just sat through and thank you for watching part one part two will be as soon as possible to follow this up there's some good stuff coming up in part two and we will be on the e-bikes as well doing a bit on that part one's been good for anyone who wanted to know anything about Loughborough plenty more info to come and if you are a Loughborough brarian whatever that, however we say that if you're born and bred in Loughborough I um, hope it's been a bit of fun uh, and you've gone, ah, oh, well, you've missed that, Kev, or you've missed it. I know I have. There is so much history uh, in this place of, you know, Loughborough Town. 
it's very, very difficult. Get out of the way, cat. Cover it all. It's impossible to cover it all. Uh, physically impossible. So I'm getting out of here now. I'm still down Frail Street. I'm going to uh, get back on the main road, head home, edit this one, and finish off part one. I hope you've liked it, like I said. Um, if you do, subscribe to the channel. Please, please subscribe. If you subscribe and press the icon bell, bing, you'll know when part two comes. See how clever I am. I'll leave that one with you. I'm driving home. Oh, by the way, before I go, I always say it. Get your seatbelts on. Keep safe. I always do. Later. It's rock and roll. Thank mm -hmm. you.